This is a device I've constructed to concentrate solar energy. Radiant energy from the sun strikes this curved mirror at the back and it's reflected forward. Now the curved mirror redirects this radiant energy, the sunlight, and focuses it along the back of this front bar right here. Even though it's extremely cold here this morning, there's easily enough energy from the sun, when focused and concentrated, to toast a piece of bread. A device like this could be used to cook food, uh, heat and sterilize water even concentrate sunlight onto photovoltaic cells to improve the efficiency of electrical output from them. Finding innovative ways to collect and use energy from the sun is one way to alleviate some of the energy problems we're facing now. If you're interested in designing one of your own, I'll explain some of the science and engineering behind these devices, starting with energy. Energy is a difficult and sophisticated concept. Basically, something with energy can do work, that is, make something happen. Without energy, this boat would be sitting still. The force moving this boat through the water comes from the energy stored in gasoline. Interestingly, the chemical energy in the gasoline was created millions of years ago, when ancient plants stored energy from the sun in their cells. Over time, these plants and the food chain they supported decomposed, leaving what we call fossil fuels, including diesel and gasoline. The original energy from the sun became the chemical energy in gasoline and is now being used to create kinetic energy, energy of motion. Energy often changes from one form to another. Energy is measured in joules while power, the rate at which energy is being used, is measured in watts. A power of one watt means that energy is being delivered or consumed at the rate of one joule per second. The sun is an incredible source of power. When the sun shines on your part of the world, you are receiving as much as 1,000 watts per square meter of surface area. This black panel has a surface area of one square meter. When I align it directly with the sun, it is receiving approximately 1,000 joules of energy every second. Remember that a watt is one joule per second. That means that this panel is receiving 1,000 watts of power. One kilowatt, that is a lot of power. If we could convert all of that to electricity, we could operate a coffee maker or a microwave. That is the challenge, how to convert this radiant energy coming from the sun to energy that is easy to use. That is the function our solar concentrator accomplished, converting radiant energy to usable heat energy. At the heart of this device is a curved mirror with radius R. The focal point of a mirror like this is located at one half the radius. When parallel rays of light, like sunlight, strike a curved mirror, they are reflected so that most of the rays pass through the focal point, concentrating energy and creating heat. This amazing facility, located in the Mojave Desert, uses this method to generate electricity on a huge scale. Giant curved mirrors focus sunlight onto a tube filled with oil, heating the oil to 400 degrees Celsius. This superheated oil is used to boil water and drive steam turbines, generating electricity. These curved mirrors are parabolic, a superior shape for focusing light. A facility like this one produces enough electricity to power a small city. The sun is our most promising source of renewable energy. Finding creative ways to collect and convert this radiant energy presents exciting opportunities for inventors and innovators. 
If you are interested in experimenting with solar concentrators, you will find instructions for building a small demonstration model at our website, hyloroad.com. Follow the projects link. The solar reflector is in the engineering area. If you attempt to design and construct your own solar concentrator, remember that these devices can generate very high temperatures, creating a fire hazard. Never leave it unattended, and never look directly at the sun or the reflected energy from the sun. Doing so could cause eye damage. More science and technology projects can be found at our website, hyloroad.com.